Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Dustin from Laptop Factory. Alright guys, uh, welcome back to our channel. So last week we vlogged BMAX S13, X15, and Y15. Now what we have here are two types of Lenovo. One is an i3 and one is an i5. 14 inches and 15 inches. Okay, before we continue on opening this unit, I would just like to thank Greens for using this area. So in case that you're looking for any a table or chairs, you can visit their page. We'll send the link below. Now, guys, speaking of playing, please like and subscribe to our page because every time that you subscribe to our page, that's one of the reasons that's why we are continuing to do unboxing, reviewing, and upgrading a laptop. Now, let's proceed with the unit. Okay, let's start with this Lenovo IdeaPad 3. So, this is the i3 variant. Let's open the unit. We actually already unsealed the unit, but we put it inside just to you know know the feeling once we open it okay buksan na natin. <coughs> so once you open this there's the cushion here and the battery is located here let's open the check the battery okay as you notice lenovo chargers are lagging ganito square type they don't have like the power socket katulad ng mga ibang charger ganito mostly yung mga charger ng Lenovo ngayon okay and then the unit here oh by the way it comes with these pretty sure that this is for an HDD upgrade so later we'll open the unit we got here printed materials So the color is onyx black or business black pala. Yun yung nakasulit sa box. So if you open the unit, meron itong cushion and here there's a printout. Okay. Tabi na muna natin itong mga to. Now let's open the other one. Now this is the i5 variant, the L3. Let's open the unit. Okay, so this one's a silver, it's a platinum gray. And what's inside? Also the same. Printed materials here, here. And charger, then. It's also a square type charger. Okay. Wait. So once you open, comes with the printed materials and the cloth. Okay, now let's talk about the appearance and the dimension of the unit. So this is the i3, the black one, and um, this is the i5, which is the uh, silver one. Let's start with the i3, the Lenovo IdeaPad i3. Now, the dimension of this unit, the height is 19.9 millimeters, with is 327.1 millimeters, the depth is 241 millimeters while the weight is um, 1.6 kilograms now this one the i5 variant the lenovo l3 idea pad the height is 2.9 millimeters width is 254.6 millimeters the depth is 363 millimeters and the weight is 2.2 kilograms so there's a 0.6 kilograms difference on the unit it's because this is a 14 inches and this one is a 15 inches. All right, now let's talk about the appearance of this unit. It's a business black. Dati ang tawag nila dito yung mga Onyx black eh. As you see, the Lenovo logo is at the side. Dati kasi dito yung Lenovo eh. It's, so it's much cooler nung nilagay nila dito. And it's a plastic material, but if you feel it, it's like uh, parang matte. I don't know. All right, let's open up uh, the sides pala, ports. We got here the power socket, HDMI, USB 2.0, USB 3.0. Dalawang USB 3.0 and then isang USB 2.0. On the other side, not so much. 
We got here an SD card slot and an audio combo jack. Okay, and there's a small button here which um, factory reset. Just in case that your laptop crash or hindi na siya nag open you could use a pin to factory reset the laptop. Pinipin tong maliit na maliit na button na to. Okay. So if you open this, it's a 14-inch laptop. So the power button is on the side. And there's an i310 Gen logo. We'll talk about the specs later. Conning cover, yun din yung keyboard feels. Ayun, no? So... Medyo okay naman. The size of the tracking pad. And we got here some stickers here. And a QR code. And every time that you open, baka kasi mapansin nyo, baka hindi gumagana yung camera nyo, ensure that you remove the sticker. And by the way, for privacy, there's actually a switch here if you want to enable or disable the camera. Alright. Now, let's talk about the i5 naman. The i5. Okay. About the ports, power socket here, a LAN port, HDMI, dalawang USB 3.0, audio combo jack, and Type-C. Nandito rin yung pang factory reset button niya. On the other side, it looks like um, lagayan ng DVD drive. But this is actually a caddy. I'm pretty sure that you could put an HDD here or an SSD. Mamaya, we'll open it. And let's see what's inside of the unit. So this is, the color is platinum gray and with an aluminum brush. Not like the i3, which is uh, color black. This one's silver. And at the side then, nandito rin yung Lenovo logo niya. Sa ilalim, yun, there's a fan here. Not so much. Okay. Let's see. So this is a 15.6 naman. It comes with the alpha numeric keyboard. Ang 14 inches kasi, walang numpad. Mostly mga 15 inches yan. Ito na yung may mga numpad. Okay, tracking pad here. So, mm. tracking pad nyo is medyo nakausod dito sa left side eh. Well, dito sa the 14 inches, nasa gitna. Pero dito talaga manonotice talaga ng sobrang left side na to. And you will see here the sticker of the Intel Core i5. So the sticker is actually new. Ngayon lang nakita na sticker na i5 na ganito ang itsura. Alam niyo naman yung mga dating sticker ng Intel, right? But this one, since this is an 11th gen, so it comes with a new sticker. Same, once you open it, kung ano yung nasa top cover, it's also aluminum brush here, the keyboards, okay? Same thing goes with the camera. It comes with a sticker here. So for privacy, you could close it. Kung gagamitin nyo, you could open it. There's a switch. Now let's talk about the specification of this to Lenovo laptop. So let's start with the i3. This is an i3 10th gen. Base boost is 1.2 GHz and the turbo boost is 3.4 GHz. Ang tawag pala dito is Ice Lake. Okay, now the memory is a 4 gig with 2667 MHz. Okay, storage is 256 SSD. Now we will check later if it is upgradable. The resolution is a 14 inch and the full HD. It's a 1920 by 1080. So this is a non bezeled screen, by the way, just like standard laptop. Let's talk about the i5 variant naman. So the i5, um, this is an i5 11th gen, so that's i5-1135G7. The base boost is 2.4 while the turbo boost is 4.2 GHz. So ang tawag nila dito is the Tiger Lake. Memory is 4 GB. Okay, uh, speed of the memory is 2933 MHz. Because the i3 is only uh, 2667, this one is 2933. However, the resolution, this is a 15.6 inch laptop, the resolution is only HD. So, mas mataas ang resolution ng i3. Um, the screen is a non-IPS for the boat. And it also comes with a 256 SSD. Alright? Now, let's call our technician para i-check ko ano yung mga pwedeng upgrade dito sa unit na to. Alright? For a while.
Thank you sa technician natin na uh, inopen yung chassis. Okay, let's start with the i3. The i3 comes with 10 screws bago mo siya ma-open. Now, guys, do not open this at home. It will void your warranty. So, I suggest if you want to upgrade the unit, go to any Lenovo service center or you can go to us upon purchase. We can upgrade the unit for you. Okay, now let's open this up. As you notice, there's an extra HDD slot, a 2.5 SATA, na pwede ilagay dito. Nung nag-unbox tayo, it comes with a ribbon. So, you're gonna use this ribbon if you want to upgrade or if you want to add a 2.5 SATA or an uh, HDD. And here, there's a free memory slot. So, the 4 gig of this laptop is already on board. So, there's a free, you can put a 4 gig, 8 gig, 16 gig. Just ensure that the megahertz that you're gonna put in is more than 2,600 megahertz, okay? There's the fan, heat sink, and um, the speakers are the front, left and right. And you'll see here, there's a battery. May malit na battery dito. Bukod do sa battery mismo na laptop. Now, this battery is a ng purpose nito. Every time that you restart your computer, uh, para hindi ma-outdate yung or hindi mabago yung oras ng computer. Kasi kahit nakapatay yung laptop nyo, may malit na battery pa rin na nag -run. Yun yung nag ensure na update yung oras nyo or yung time. Kasi pag wala ito, pag shutdown mo ang computer tapos binuk binuksan mo, magbabak yan to wait to 2,000 years. Tapos parang yung time is will go back to 00, zero or something. Okay. Going back, we have Wi-Fi card here and the SSD slot. As you notice guys, oh, yung SSD niya, medyo maliit eh. Dati kasi yung mga SSD, actually, mas mahaba pa dito yo. Can you see it? Actually yan, makikita nyo, meron dito hanggang dulo. So, ibig sabihin, in case that you're gonna upgrade the SSD and mas mahaba yung SSD nyo, um, pwede nyo ilipat yung screw dito from here to here. I'll do a research, I'll check this out, kung ano ang tawag dito. Pero dati kasi every time that we remove a chassis, mahaba yung SSD. But this one, maliit na yung SSD nila. Probably is the next generation SSD. So the battery, okay, I think I said everything on this unit. Now let's go to the i5. And by the way, there's um, like a cooling gel here na nakatapat to sa SSD nyo para hindi uminit yung SSD. Okay. Now for the i5. Let's go to i5. The i5 comes with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 screws para matanggal yung unit. Then again, you cannot open this. It will void your warranty. Go to a Lenovo service center for upgrades. Okay, kanina nung pinakita natin sa appearance of this Lenovo i5, it comes with a caddy. Okay, this is actually the caddy. This one. Ah, tanggalin natin. You can put 2.5 SATA or an HDD here, okay? And there's another, you notice, there's another 2.5 SATA here. So you could put two na HDD or dalawang 2.5 SATA on it. Dito yung another memory slot. So the 4 gig of this unit is already on board. You could put here another 4 gig, 8 gig, or 16 gig. But ensure that the memory should be more than... 2,900 megahertz. Okay? The SSD is also the same like the i3 na mas maikse. Pero as you notice, parang meron siyang ano, extender para kasi nandito kasi yung screw sa dulo. So in case that you have a longer SSD, pwede nyo lang tanggalin itong bakal na to. But if you have a shorter SSD, you will use this para mag-hold dito. Okay? So heat sink here, um, we got the fan, so pares ng i3, they got one fan. Speakers here at the sides, kasi dun sa i3, nandito sa harap yung speaker niya. Ito nasa gilid. Wi-Fi card here. Um, same like the i3, meron din siyang parang gel dito. The, the cooling gel, ito yung nakatapat dun sa SSD dito. Okay? Balik na natin to. Tawagin na, na ulit natin yung technician natin para ikabit yung unit. Alright guys, there you have it. We've checked the appearance of this two Lenovo, the i3 and the i5. And uh, we checked the specifications and underneath the chassis. Okay, now let's talk about the cons or napansin ko dito sa 
unit na to. Wag na yung pros kasi nakita niyo naman yung mga highlights ng ng units eh. The cons. Let's start with the i3. The i3 does not have a USB type C as I noticed. And then for the i5, it doesn't comes with a USB 2.0. Napansin ko lang na dalawa yung USB 3.0 niya pati isang USB type C. So parang nakukulangan ako sa USB ports because I'm using a laptop na tatlo ang kinakabit ko eh na USB kasi I'm more on wireless mouse, wireless keyboard and wireless headset mga ganon. And um, the other cons that I noticed on these two units, it only comes with a 256 SSD. However, nakita niyo naman, kahit 256 SSD siya, you can update, you can add 1 tera HDD. For the i5, you can add 2 na HDD do sa unit na yon. And for the memory, yun din yung napansin kong cons. For the i3, that's actually fine, 4 gig. However, for the i5, 4 gig probably is not enough. So, um, I would suggest na you might upgrade the memory of the i5 in the future. But also, same with the i3, na in the future, you upgrade your memory. But, ayun nga, nakita nyo naman, both are upgradable because there are some laptops na hindi mo na ma-upgrade yung memory, pati yung storage niya. But here, dito sa Lenovo, we saw that the memory and the storage are upgradable. And the other cons, probably both are running integrated graphics. They run in Intel Ultra HD graphics. They do not have like um, NVIDIA MX230. But however, the price is right kasi. If you're looking for an i5 or an i3 that comes with an NVIDIA video card, expect that it is actually mas mahal. And speaking about price, guys, the i3, the Lenovo IdeaPad 3, is only 24,500. The SRP of that unit is 26,000. And the i5 is 31,500. The SRP is nasa 34,000. So you actually save like 1.5 or 2.5 per unit. And, and speaking about saving, minsan kasi nagpa price drop kami or minsan nagsa sale kami. So please stay tuned or please check our Facebook page for more information. Minsan kasi baka maabutan nyo na mas mababa pa dun sa sinabi kong price, yung unit. Okay? Now, about the warranty, the i3 is 2 years and the i5 is 3 years warranty. Those are manufacturer warranties. So in case that there's any problem, you could go to any Lenovo service center. Kung malayo naman kayo sa Lenovo, you could go to our stores. We do have stores nationwide. We have stores in here in Quezon City, Makati, we got Cebu, Davao, Lucena, Batangas, Baguio. And we also have cash on delivery nationwide kung nahihirapan kayo pumunta sa store namin due to this pandemic. Now guys, that is COD, okay? I just noticed na this past few weeks may mga customers kami na na-scam because they were they being asked for a down payment. Now, I strongly suggest that please directly chat to our page. Do not chat to any personal messages like individual peoples. If you're inquiring for a laptop, our page has its messenger, okay? Ensure na talagang laptop factory ang kausap nyo or circuit base. Do not talk to any individuals, okay? And we offer ulit cash on delivery. Alright? I think I said lahat ng Nalalaman ko dito sa mga units na to. If you have any suggestions or comments, please type it below. And please like and subscribe our page. Malaking bagay kasi pag nag-subscribe kayo sa page namin, okay? Mas mayanggan nyo kami mag-review or unblog ng more laptops. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is Dustin from Laptop Factory. Have a good day. Bye-bye.